not even the main event of this video. But certainly worth mentioning. I'll get to this at a later date, by the way. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to deal with it now, but I just want to let you know it's here. I talked about it previously, so yay, it's here. Yay! Why are Lego Shop at Home boxes so plain? Gee, I don't know. I asked the question, and I'm the answer. You might have noticed that our shipping boxes are not quite as colorful and exciting as our toys. There's a good reason for that. Many people order gifts for others from Lego Shop at Home. By keeping our boxes plain, we help, give, we help gift givers keep their secrets. I kind of like that. And there's something over here. <clears throat> Blah, 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 blah. Again, uh, a big order and ooh, squashed, notably. Again, just because it was it was a big order and uh, he got it for free. So I'll put this together. I'll put this in the uh, I'll put this in the Christmas box. So you only pull it out like once a year or thereabouts, so. Cute. By the way, you don't get to pick what they give you, they just give it to you. Like previously I got a, a little tractor that came with the ghost and the phantom. So this is significantly bigger. How many pieces? 233 pieces, wow. Not bad. We've got cookies and ice cream and candy canes. Ugh. Candy corn, Ugh. all kinds of sweet, delectable, delightful stuff thingies. You even got a fir tree, I'd venture to say. A fir tree with a present underneath it. Good times. With a candy cane swirl on top. Okay. So there's this. But the main event, the big thing I wanted is this puppy right here. Oh yeah. Oh, and an activity book. This is more interesting. City activity book. Wow. The last shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> Ward your malfunction. <laughs> The minifigures got up too early and got all their gear mixed up. Can you sort it out for them and find out the find the my city code? Okay. <clears throat> Create your own city. Not really. It's just a checklist for which ones you have and which ones are too expensive for your parents to get for you. Experience the magic of creating Lego City movies, thrilling escapes, daring adventures. Go behind the scenes at lego.com slash city studio. Boy, I wish my city was filled with thrilling escapes and daring adventures. Prison would be a lot more interesting, I'll tell you that. It's a thing. But anyway, the main event. This enormous thing. Definitely one of the bigger sets I've gotten in recent years. Imperial Salt Carrier. Now, the interesting thing about this, is this in frame? I can't tell. The interesting thing about this is what it represents in Star Wars Rebels, the TV series. Uh, it doesn't say, oh, there it is down there. Star Wars Rebels is in frame. I can't tell from here. I really wish I had a, a little monitor that I could flip around and, you know, watch myself, because I just have to guess what the camera sees. Moving on. This is the incompetent Imperial counterpart to a Star Destroyer. Like, you have the Ghost, okay, which is a frigate, or, uh, uh, yeah, which is a which is a cargo frigate. Frigate? I'm sorry, freighter. It's a, it's a light cargo freighter. And it's essentially the Millennium Falcon for a new age. <clears throat> In my opinion better but I digress but you can't have the millennium uh, you can't have the ghost going up against an Imperial Star Destroyer all the time there are Star Destroyers out there but I mean you're 
your heroes would be overwhelmed and outgunned every single time. They might actually get themselves shot up once in a great while if they didn't get that adjustment just so. So you got to downgrade your enemy a little bit. This is the stand-in for the Star Destroyer. It's enough, it's got... It's got an incompetent Imperial crew, plus a hero, because why not? It's got a bunch of TIE Fighters, which are, please shoot me, you know, obviously. Uh, so it's got a bunch of TIE Fighters, which, yeah, whatever. But then it's big enough to look intimidating, and it's got some big guns on it. It's got some big engines on it. It's got some big cargo spaces on it. And it has a little clip me do hatch, or a little, um, ah, what do you, a hauling hook on the end there, so you can actually pick it up and carry the thing around with you, or, you know, fly it around the room if you must. And of course, it never, ever, ever lands on the, <laughs> excuse me, lands on the, what the? <clears throat> I was cleaning off some toys earlier, dust. <clears throat> I think that's what that is. That hurt. <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, this is the downgraded Star Destroyer. It's not quite a Star Destroyer, but it's just as menacing. I'll be honest, um, I like this. I like this. I, uh, it's a Star Destroyer because it's got the triangular profile if you look at it from above. But it's it's also thick in different ways and it's got the guns in different locations. I think there's, there's an implied turret right there, which is nice. You got missile launchers coming out the side. Why am I doing this now? I said I wasn't going to make the video about this. Besides, I'm going to be doing an unboxing about this. Maybe not today, or at least I'm not going to record it today. Because uh, I'm going to be taking with that thing over there, editing this video and having fun with that. What is that, by the way? You remember these guys? Oh, wait, that's right. I never published the unboxing. Rest assured, I did do an unboxing of these guys. Just, I never published it for some reason. Well, you, at the very least, you do know I reviewed this. Um, I got these on the exact same day, at the exact same time, in the exact same package. That's what she said. Um, I didn't, I didn't do text in pictures. I, I, I shot the video for this. I was going to shoot the video for... Solar Saver... And Galaxy Saver? I don't remember now. Just because I was vague enough on the names at the time that I originally got them that it, you know, it's completely slipped my mind. Is this Galaxy Saver or Star Saver? Or am I thinking, thinking of Star Saver? I think this is Galaxy Saver. Or is the combined form called Galaxy Saver? Oh, this is, this is a Planet Saver, I think. I think this is Planet Saver. I could be wrong. But anyways, uh, yeah, I got these guys, and um, I did do an unboxing for them. I don't remember how long it was, but yeah, I went over all the details and blah, 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 stuff like that. Ava, why didn't you fill up with this? You know, Sininji was asking me exactly the same thing a couple of months ago. Actually, about, about three, four months ago when we were actually doing the reviews of these things. Main reason I didn't shoot it at the time is because I was waiting for him to get for Sininji to get his, so he could do the text and picture review, and then I would have followed up with mine at exactly the same time. I can't remember why it is now. Probably just me dragging my ass or whatever it is, or depression or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, I got it, and I was going to review it, and I didn't, and I let somebody down. I, I think I might have let you down. Not sure. So yeah, these exist. And then I got this. Actually, I got this uh, yesterday. No, day before yesterday. Well, no. Was it yesterday or day before yesterday? I think it was yesterday. So anyways, I got this. Um, but earlier in the week, I had a little bit of drama. Um, I got another box. I'm a little apprehensive about what this might be. I was expecting this today. But the strange thing is... The same day I got that Imperial Assault Cruiser is the same guy, same day I got that Jewel Ken. I I still don't know where the hell that thing came from. Um, if one of my watchers, if, if one of you gave it to me, let me know, please. Because uh, the only thing I can think of at this point is, I mean, there's two possibilities. Either A, uh, somebody at that eBay store 
knows me and just sent it my way, but didn't leave a note on the inside saying, hey, Ava, I sent this to you, because my name wasn't even on the order slip. It just kind of showed up. Although they did give me a pack of uh, gum, stick of gum, so, okay. Actually, it might have been a couple pieces of gum in one box, but anyways. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I know. I know who it came, I, I know the company, I know the store that it came from, but I don't know who gave it to me. If it's part of a sampler, A, it's second hand, so that's a rather strange sampler. B, uh, they forgot to include the receipt with my name on it. But, but, but again, I've looked at PayPal, I looked at eBay, I looked on my emails for confirmation from any of those previous two. I still, I never ordered the Jewelkin. So, if, 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 if one of my YouTube subscribers, if one of you guys did that, let me know, please, because uh, I, I'm, I'm, that's, it's actually keeping me up at night. It's starting to, because the paranoia is setting in. People are buying things on my half, but maybe the idiot forgot to, like maybe they got hold of my account information from somewhere or something else, something like that, and um, they decided to buy it using my my credit card or my uh, you know my PayPal account but they accidentally put my name on the ship too instead of their name but then if that's the case yeah I mean, it, it, it's weird like I said the paranoia is building up so please let me know which makes me a little appreh and the reason I bring that up is because it's making me a little apprehensive of what this might be now I knew this was going to be coming but is this what I'm expecting it to be or is this some sort of a random package that just so happens to come from China on the day that I'm expecting something to show up? That's going to haunt me for a while. Until I find out who did that, um, that's going to haunt me for a while. So, moving on to the actual unboxing video. I've set up these two guys in anticipation that this might be what I'm looking for, or waiting for. Well, it's packaged in a similar fashion. This is a good indication. And confirmed. We have what we were anticipating. Woo, who, who. Now, the Space Deleter Toys if you live in mainland China, the Space the Leader toys do come in their own boxes, okay? So, but for whatever reason, uh, I want to say it was Sir Toys. I want to say, no, it was Sir. For whatever reason, Sir Toys, they're not shipping them in the original packaging. Even even these guys came, you know, wrapped up like this. So, I don't know why they're doing it that way, but whatever. I debated for a while whether or not I was going to get, I want to say this is called Uranus Saver. Uranus Saver, please no jokes. No innuendos, please. I know Rule 34 exists for a reason, but uh, can we keep it to a minimum, please? At least when it comes to talking about describing toys for children. But anyways, um... <clears throat> I debated with myself whether I was going to get um, Uranus Saver or Uranus Saver. I don't know what's the proper. I mean, like ever since Walter Cron ever since Walter Cronkite effed up on Uranus, everybody now says Uranus, which is totally wrong considering like that's how the Greeks originally said it. So you know, how, Uranus sir, uh, Saver. I don't know. It might even be something else. I'm not sure. Maybe this is Planet Saver. Or maybe this is Star Saver. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyways, I debated getting this one for a while. And really it was dependent on how these, how well these two went together. These two went together marvelous, marvelously, by the way. Very solid, if I remember correctly. But um, I just wasn't certain if I was going to go for the big carrier thing. Well, because when I bought this, this had, this had been announced, but there were no pictures coming to this side of the internet. So, you know, it was, it was up in the air what it was going to look like, what it was going to do. 
And then there was there was an announcement that came over from Sir Toys that production of the toy in China had been delayed. So, you know, people who liked these had to wait extra long in order to get the whole complete thing. Does he have to have the TV quite that loud? I don't know. Why having that box over there is really convenient. Maybe I'll keep this one. Okay. As I understand it, this one's not as complicated to transform. It's 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 a bit of a um, it's a bit of a parts former, but you know it is the final Mac, so why not? Ava, what are you talking about? This is not the final Mac of Super Sentai. This is the final Mac of Space Deleter. So there is no of course at this point. This is well, actually, I don't know what this is, but yeah, catalog with stuff. <clears throat> oh, kind of looks the same. You know, I'll be honest. I I've been really tempted to get their their henshin device and this one this one dagger gun thingy on the bottom here which you totally can't see in the middle on the bottom i've attempted to get that as well as the morpher on the top cannon in the middle um i've seen it it, it that actually might not be too bad to get huh interesting they have their own version of uh they're, they're posable, but they have their own version of, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, Power Rangers Zord Builder System, except they don't transform. They just they just part swap. Or not part swap, they, they limb swap. You get to create kooky and crazy combinations. Whoa. Just that. Which is better than anything Power Rangers has ever given us. I take that back. Disregard. I take that back. They have done this, and it pissed me off. Maybe it's just a case of these look better when they do it. So there's that. <clears throat> Maybe I should look at the instructions. Oh, clusterfuck if ever there was one. The difference is this is done better, I think. Woo, solid. Yeah. That's a good variation on a theme. Wait. These go up. Let's go out to the sides, and I know you guys can't see it very well. Give me a moment here. Just, just hold your tits. Oh wow, that fits really nicely in there. Huh. It's a very strange way to do it. Oh my god, it has the head, the neck can look side to side. Holy shit, that's amazing. Friction only pins, there's no click. Oops. <laughs> That's great. It can look side to side. <laughs> and then here comes the WTF moment. So is this just a battleship, or is it also a... Wait, does this turn? Oh. Mm. It's probably only the... The only, like, 
big part I disagreed with is just like Optimus Prime and in, in his his various versions and the gun that he has to carry on the the back uh, back end of the truck mode. This really doesn't look very good. Just you know, yeah. But uh, you know, I can I I, I can kind of live with it. Let's see, can I tilt that forward one. Ooh, let's get out of there. Oh, it's a strange place to put that. But I can live with it. There we go. There it is. And if you get bored, you can take this. And if you've got these two in vehicle mode, but you don't know what to do with this, you can stick it right here. So yeah, you can do that as well. Which, you know, it's odd to do it with the final carrier, but uh, I can live with it. So, at least they did something with it, you know. They, well, I, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that because at this point, um, what, what's their name? Oddly, is that it? Yeah, Oddly. They kind of knew, like, I, I wonder why it is that they didn't, from the get-go, have the Dream Fighter, I think is how it translates, have the Dream Fighter um, directly peg into the Rising Arrow and... What's the other... I can't remember, the, the Blue Crawler thingy? The, the Galaxy Crawler? Maybe I can't I can't remember what it's called, but anyways, the captions are yelling at me right now. But anyways, the um, Dream Fighter could easily have fit on there and actually pegged into place, or it could have tabbed into place. But it didn't. It just it just casually rested on the top. And honestly, I was not I was not happy with that. They like got that close, and then they kind of tripped at the finish line. Well, they didn't really trip to the finish line. They're like they got that close to being in first place, but it came in second in a row of like twenty or thirty. So you know, like that close to getting first place, I'll say. Uh, but that, that's kind of the one disappointment of the uh, Solar Saber that disappointed me. And you totally can't see what I'm doing. Ah, uh, the dust is real. Yes. There's still no friction in this. I, I haven't found any obvious uh, fracture points. I think it's just it just wasn't manufactured tight enough, I guess. So, yeah, whatever. I have to take this off. Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. I love the shape of those feet. That's awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, calm down. So how the hell do you get it back in? Hmm. Oh, they've got... Okay, they've got an extending... The thighs are connected internally, but the problem is when you pull out, the legs immediately want to separate at the knees. I don't think there is a solid snap. Oh, there isn't. It's, it's a very lightweight snap, so. Okay, that's, that's an issue. And that just goes up. That goes up to cover the thing. Not as not as much as I'd like, but okay. It's kind of a weird choice. Like it's got a it's got a visor like the other two do that covers the eyes, but it'll either cover the face and expose this hole in the in the just below the crown so that you can get the, the dragon head in there, or you pull it up just far enough that this little badge on the top of the the, the visor doesn't match up with the rest of the crown. 
But the eyes are still covered. It's kind of a weird situation. But anyways. So does that? Oh, I see. It's just a 180. All right. Oh, what is that? Okay. This goes down. Does this go up? Yes, it does. So it doesn't matter. Sweet. Like everybody else, uh, the hands or fists are molded in. I, I kind, I, I kind of like it, but I kind of wish they'd done something else in here. Definitely could have benefited from some elbow joints right there. Um, oddly, you're you're, you're going to start hearing that from me more often. You had a missed opportunity for elbow joints here. You don't have to imitate Super Sentai that closely, by the way. <clears throat> Yikes. Ah. So where do these cannons go? Oh. Right up there. Again, friction only joint. That's a little disappointing. You could have put a simple... It could have snapped into place. You wouldn't have lost anything. Friction joint, you know, eventually they're going to wear out. It's G1 Transformers all over again. Wow, that... I like that backpack. That's cool. That, that works for me. Um, I think this goes nowhere. So... Go forward. It's the Red Dragon Thunderzord. Oh. Not quite. The mouth does not open and close. So. Mm. I was going to say it's the Red Dragon Thunderzord all over again. And then I found out the mouth doesn't work. Mm. And this just snaps into here. Oh, those knees. Okay, that's that's an issue. That's now an issue. Because you wanna you wanna pull down as hard as you can to make certain it snaps, but then if you pull too far, the knee comes off. And the and the, the waist disconnects. That, that's a big issue, oddly. You gotta some some sort of a peg mechanism on the on the side, or maybe a a switch here or, or switch on the back would have been preferable. So And then putting ouch! putting it back in, the legs want to retract, or the, the thighs want to retract back in, and you end up with something that will make you pinching yourself. Either have a definite snap in there, which I don't, it's not a strong one, it's a very soft, or have some sort of a peg system in there, an internal switch that you pull up and, and the thing moves forward or backward, and then you push back down and it locks it in place. It needs a solid locking mechanism for those thighs. It really, really does. Now if I can actually finish this thing, that goes there, that goes there. Because this was not stored properly, um, the horns are actually bend, bent inwards. Oh, I'm going to put that down. So there's that. Gosh darn it, if this had been a melee out, my bad wasn't looking. If this had been a melee map, if only this had been a melee weapon, it would have been a great melee weapon. Just a giant monkey wrench. Just slip it in here. And simple peg on the inside, you know, call it good. Does it? No, it does not. Alas. And you can't... Wait, 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 wait. You can... I think... Ha! So there is storage. You can actually put it back here where, where it always was. You might you might not need to disconnect it at all. Those are Gundam feet it's got. Gotta say I'm I'm pretty impressed. And it's no you know, what's nice about this is it's no bigger than the other two. Star Saver and, and, and uh, Galaxy Saver. Or no, Planet Planet Saver and, and, and Star Saver. If that's what they're called. But yeah, maybe had a... These panels on the side here had them flip down. And then you could have had... Oh, you know something else that's really... Would have been cool? Is they've actually got this really nice grill detail here and here. They could have put... And the sun came out. They could have 
I like the, I like that it's indented. It's actually a separate piece that sits in here. Oh, that lens flare. There's actually a separate piece that they use for this intake here, and then for this one, it's a molded in detail. If only they'd had the guts to like put a missile launcher in here or something. That would have been nice. Maybe maybe next time around, you know. Again, snollet snollet snap all, solid snap all the way around. The thighs, I think, are going to be the biggest problem. Like I've bitched about it twice now, and you actually saw what would happen oddly if you if if the thighs are not extended all the way down, and if there isn't a locking mechanism of some kind in there. Uh, Super Sentai's had to deal with that a couple of times over the decades, so I mean it's it's something you can slip up on, but just be aware that it's there. And again, the only possibilities in the uh, um, is in the shoulders. Ironically, the best possibility remains with, uh, for, for argument's sake, I'm just going to call the Star Saver. I, I just keep slipping into it. I know captions, I know, I know, but just bear with me. So Star Saver here um, remains the only one with actually posable elbows, which was batshit insane awesome. How the hell did Super Sentai not do this on their combined forms? Not even the separate smaller sub-mecha forms, but I'm talking specifically about the combined forms. They, they, I, very few, if any, ever have posable elbows, hips, and knees. It's just It just doesn't happen. You always have this, and you might have this out to the side, okay? But you never, ever, ever get an elbow joint. Now, technically, this is strictly for the transformation, but still, it's there, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. As did everybody else. Because it just works. It just, it, it works. It bloody works. Okay, you're not reviewing Star Saber, or whatever it's called. You're reviewing that. Wait, you want me to disconnect that thing? Oh, I decided to reset the. I don't know what it is. There's a with 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 this camera. There's a there's a a, a, a video to audio desync over time. So I just reset it. There, I just ended one video, started another one. So the the synchronization's still there. <clears throat> Hmm. Trying to remember how to do this. So you take this apart and you turn it into was it great saver mode or not great saver? Um, whatever the mode is called. Oh, these these tabs are so tiny. They don't allow for. Um, they don't allow for fingernails. Actually, you shouldn't have to use fingernails to get your toys apart, even with Lego. <sighs> oh, shit. <clears throat> don't depend on your fingernails to transform your toys. Don't depend on your fingernails to transform your toys. Ooh, I, need to, I need to glue that fist together. That's still an issue on that one. For mine, at least. Fingers, nails. Put these back on, and yes we do. The one disappointment of this particular mode is they just, they just slapped the Slap the thing on the. Uh, they slap the arms on the side of the of the combined form's feet. That's the one big disappointment. I, I think they. I think they were trying to do it. I'm just going to recap here. I think they're going to. I think they did it just because it's you know rocket engines. I think that's what they were trying to aim for. But yeah, doesn't mean I'm allowed to like it. I'm going to put that there. Running out of space. Not even there yet. I tell you to just take everything apart first and then recombine it later. It's not that Super Sentai doesn't do this either, it's just they've been doing it too much for my taste. But 
The difference between this and Super Sentai is that Super Sentai doesn't have an individual, each of the parts don't have individual transformation process. Everything here, well, with the exception of maybe the torso, that's probably the blockiest part I can think of. And you know, this, which could be a little drone, if you wish. Drone skirt, skirt drone, scrone. Other than those two parts, it's kind of the most non-functional thing in these two in these two robot toys. And Super Sentai, kind of the big problem is it's getting too simple over time. It's getting simple, 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 simple all across. So it's like, uh, so that's why this works for me. Oh God, don't even, just don't. Yep, hell, you know they're going to do it. <clears throat> Gotta save some space here somehow. Space saver? <laughs> That's what this one is called. I dubbed the space saver. I don't care what the fuck they call you in China. Actually, I, I sincerely don't know what the fuck they call it in China. Come on, get in there. Okay, so I solar saved a bit of space here. Let's see what you did there. Okay, there's that. And I'll just pull this whole damn thing to pieces again. I don't expect every single Super Sentai combiner to be uh, the ultimate Daijin. Uh, that, that's not what I want. Like, that's the ideal image. But understandably, not all Super Sentai Mecha uh, Ultimate Combiners will be able to do that. So, fair enough. And there is a lot of part swapping here. Well, there was a lot of part swapping also on... Okay, why do these knees come apart? Why do they separate? I don't get that. They don't here. Or do they? By the way, the turrets are identical, so it doesn't matter which one you put on which side. That friction's going to disappear so fast. And if you're counter non-friction, you know, glue, super glue, uh, enamel, any of those tricks, I recommend applying it here. So, I strongly recommend it. These are going to come off so easily. Mm. What is that? There's a whole other connection joint right there. What the hell? It's so fucking nice to be able to read the instructions because I don't know how easy it is to change. It's so nice. I don't know. These are from 2014, and I don't know how they change simply by looking at the show. I love that. I fucking, I'm going to fucking break this thing. I love that. Come on. Bandai, Plex, Toei, get your fucking shit together, please. Sorry about that. What was I bitching about? Fucking Bandai Plex Toei. Enough with the simple transformations. Enough. Does this turn? No, it does not. That would have been cool if I had. These simple transformations are not what I signed up for in 1993. They're really not. These come out in 2014 and they're blowing my mind. Not because they're amazing by themselves. They have a lot of the qualities that I really like about giant transforming 12-inch robots that are multicolored and controlled by a team. This is the thing I like about it. Is Shuriken Sentai Ninja not fucking good enough? And Star Ninja pisses me off. So yeah, um, yeah, I mean, I, this, this is like reminiscent of like, maybe like the beginning of the parts former era of Super Sentai, which would be in at about 2003. So that's kind of what this is reminiscent of. Um, 
I can't I can't really call it Samurai Hao. I'm not prepared to go there because it's not a clusterfuck in the in nearly the same way. And that doesn't have a bunch of random useless shit just kind of stuck there simply because they can. These arms notwithstanding, of course. Okay. I'm gonna put the rant. Wow. Turning the head around is required for the transformation. Oh yeah, by the way, posable head. How about that shit? How about that? Let's see this. Come on. Get out of there. Oh. Pull it down. This goes out. This goes up. Oh, I get it. Okay. Alright, I see what they're trying to do. Nice idea. Oh my god, the crown's going to be enormous. Holy shit. And then... They tell me to fold it up, now they tell me to pull it back out again. But a nice thing, you just told me to leave it. Again, the dragon head moving side to side, not sure why, but it is. The connection point's a little tight on there. Holy shit, by the way. Okay, I take it back. This is almost Samurai ha -Oh. Almost. Maybe... Tenrai Senpujin? Maybe? Kind of goes there. Where am I? I'm lost. Um... Again, fingernails, that's an issue. Well, not fingernails per se, but yeah. Now I asked Prime 92, well, I'll ask later. And by the way, oh my god, these are trans these are transparent back here. Or semi transparent they're color transparent. That is cool. Oh my god, that's cool. Or, don't miss, uh, okay, maybe I'm using cool in the wrong context. It's better than what Super Sente is doing right now, so that's what I mean. Wait, where does this go? Oh my gosh, it's a giant belt. Holy crap. Oh, that's why those are slotted. Okay, all right. Right. How well does it stay on? Oh, very solid. Wow, that looks great. That looks great. This, I'm, I'm going to leave it. That's good enough. Done. What? Ah, uh, that's what that's for. When I originally got the Star Saver, Galaxy Saver, whatever, I couldn't figure out why it is there's another ratcheting position in here. It, it wasn't used. So it's like, okay, there's, a, there's another combination we don't know about. Well, it must be used. Well, it turns out it is being used. Okay. Oops. Whoa. Friction turrets. <laughs> so they still used a ratcheting joint to for for a non-ratcheting purpose. Like if if it were if if this were far enough, far enough out of here, if it were if this was out here like this, you'd totally be able to ratchet this joint back and forth. So for whatever reason they used a ratcheting joint in a place you're not gonna do you're not gonna do posing. That's slightly hilarious. And then move those down. Okay. Gotcha. This is getting serious. And 
the sun is totally in my eyes right now. That was something else that was kind of slightly disappointing with the, the was it the combined form, Great Saver, not Great Saver, whatever it was called, is the only difference between the two forms, come on, get out of there, get out. The only difference between the two forms is this goes up a little more, or no, I'm sorry, it goes up like this, as opposed to being down like this, they go up, and then you fold this up. Not, that wasn't, a lot of people, including me, we're not very happy about that. So, like, it should have gone somewhere else, and there should have been a brand new head. Well, they, they didn't do that. Well, here they finally do something with it. And you'll see me bitching about, like, uh, this should have been a chest panel of some kind in the combined form. Well, now it is. I'm not sure why they waited, but here it is. And by the way, for the record, this is actually getting front heavy now. Oh, that's actually heavy now. Holy shit. Counterweight required soonest. Again, using a ratcheting joint for a non-ratcheting position. Not sure why they did that. Did it. Ah, that's good enough. There's your counterweight. I don't know how this looks from the front. I'm not done yet. Wait. Did this turn all along and I didn't know about it? No? No, that doesn't turn. Maybe it's supposed to and it's too tight. I'm not sure. Alright. And unlike the majority of Super Sentai Ultimate forms, Whoops. Whoa, what happened? Oh, right. I'm ratcheting from the wrong place. My bad. Unlike the majority of Super Sentai combiners nowadays, not only does it take really good care of all of its... Did I do that right? Yeah, I think I did. Unlike the majority of Super Sentai combiners nowadays, where the, no matter how big they are, this one actually takes care of all of its accessories, but on the other hand, it doesn't leave a bunch of shit ton accessories around to be left out. I think... Oh my god. So is this called God Savior? Because that's kind of what it's turning out to be right now. Oh my good god. Look at that. The head is insane. Those cannons are there just because they can be. Because they can be? Um... Wow. Just fucking wow. And... You can move the shoulder panels out of the way. Unless I miss my guess. You can move this back. Can't do it. It's too heavy. Joint is not rich. Which is ironic because uh, solar savers, or yeah, planet saver, planet saver, solar, solar savers, ratchet, or shoulder joints are really, really tight. But ironically, in this combination, it doesn't use them. So now it's depending on a, on a new joint that doesn't, it's depending on a new joint area that can't support them properly, that isn't tight enough. Ah. But I feel like this is... Ooh, careful. 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 I feel like that's twisted the wrong direction. I don't know why. I don't think I'm required to have it pointed that way. So I'm going to turn it the other way around. There we go. There we go. Now we got a little more natural curve to it. That works a little better. It's a little hard to tell just because it's so small in here. Okay. I 
and oh my good god, what am I looking at? It has a big pink chest stripe. Now there's one thing I want to see for myself. It's not that I haven't asked in the past, or asked others in the past. I'm going to take this off for now. What the hell is this, by the way? And also, if you want to, you can open that up as well for an extra special finishing attack. It's nice they put that on there. Still better than what Ground Ghost A Great came up with, by the way. You know, it just occurred to me, can you guys even see the top of this? Barely. All right, good. We're good. All right, we're good. All right, okay, okay. <clears throat> so the question is not if it turns into a nice rocket booster assembly thing. That's not the question. And honestly, I would not have to, I would not have liked it if that's all that Audley had done. That's not in question. What's in question is can you pull out on the thighs? The answer is yes and separate everything? The answer is yes. Oops. Why do the thighs come apart like that? It comes apart at the knee. Why does it do that? Do these turn? Ironically, they do, but it's not designed for it. Okay, so it is an option to pull these out and spread them apart, but really it doesn't change anything. So, you know, eh. Not good enough. If only they'd have the guts to have these spread apart, spread apart this way, or or shift to the side, or maybe had the top and bottom sections turn it in kind of a big, have them pivot here, so it can, could have become an X shape. If only they had the guts. Not that I want them to imitate the Gundam X or the Gundam Double X, mind you, but like that would have been something. But I do like the fact that the legs are separate like this. It just it just makes me feel a little better. I think they're trying to go for a cape, but it's kind of not working considering where it's located and the fact that it sticks out so much. I think a cape mentality doesn't work here. Either that or turn the whole thing around 180. I don't know, can you do that? Now's the time for experimenting. That's not supposed to move. What are you doing, Ava? Ah. Okay, so here's the question. Can it... So ordinarily the orange side is down. I want to see if the orange side can go up. Nope, won't let you. I made that off-center for some reason. I'm, I'm not sure why. That's another missed opportunity right there, methinks. That's another missed opportunity right there. Arr. Come on. There we go. Wow. And you know, they threw in a dragon just for shit's sake. And you know, I kind of wish the dragon head had, had somehow fit on the front of the dream fighter here, just hung down as part of the chest. On the other hand, it would have looked really silly if you hadn't had the dragon there. Because if you take it off... Well, I think they could have hidden this in a, a different way. Oh, okay, there's your answer. There, problem solved. Now what do I do with this? Oh look, it doesn't take care of its accessories. I can, I can totally love with that. That works too. But uh, yeah, it actually attaches here, snap, and then these go down, or do they stay up? I think it's kind of up to you at that point. Look at all the transparent plastic on here. It's down here, it's here, it's on here, obviously, it's kind of a gem here. And then there's a whole bunch, there's, there's transparent plastic for the crown, there's transparent plastic for these things on either side, the collar. Um, yeah, this is great. This is great. It's transparent red like here. Like I, I always thought these should have been like LEDs on the uh, 
on the on the chest of, of Great Saver, Solar Saver, whichever one it was. Th these should have been LEDs. If it didn't make a sound, which I'm kind of grateful it didn't, because it would just go ee or ee -ee 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 -ee, you know. Rather than that, just had a pair of LEDs in there. You press like like little, little watch batteries on either side. A watch battery, one on either side. You press down on the head, and the thing lights up. Or have uh, have light shine up through the head. Or if you push down on the head, the the light will light up in the in the forehead of the was it great saver or whatever it is, and it'll also light up the chest. I, th I think that would have been awesome. And transparent blue, like I th I think they should have painted the the back side of these white, the inner side so that or had some white plastic in here so that uh, this would have come across as um, you, you would actually have seen the blue as opposed to having light blue transparent light blue up against black or in this case navy blue I love this this navy blue by the way Mwah. so yeah for some some strange reason they went with orange instead of red which probably the differentiate it from rising arrow but eh, can't complain too loudly I suppose Stop grabbing it there, Emma. That's totally not where you're supposed to grab it. That's still a better love story than Hunger Games. That's great. This, this, this is what I want from Super Sentai. This right here. This, this is my stand-in. I've missed Super... I. More or less for the last, was for almost five years now, I've not collected anything from Super Sentai. I've gotten, uh, what was that one? No, it'd be, yeah, five years, because Gokaiger was the last time I seriously collected anything. And then I got Her uh, Hercules Beetle, Beetle Hercules, no, what was that called? Buster Hercules from uh, Tokumei Sentai Go Buster. So I got that, but that's it. I didn't get anything from Kyoryuger, although although I, I think I made a mistake there. I, I, I wanted to get the, uh, the 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 gun with the, the revolver on the side that attaches to the sword on the front. Like I, I still want one of those. Power Rangers version lights up on the blade, so I might get that version instead. You better hurry up, Ava, because that uh, Power Rangers line is going to be ending soon. Speaking of Power Rangers ending soon, did you know that Power Rangers is no longer going to be broadcast on television? It's going to be internet only now. Correction, though, it's going to be Netflix or something something along those lines. I read about it just this morning. It turns out that Power Rangers Shuriken... This seems a good place as any to rant about Super Sentai and Power Rangers for a moment. Power Rangers is going to skip... Um, what was the train one called? Something Tokyuger. Resha Sentai Tokyuger. Power Rangers is skipping two series now. Well, technically three series at this point, because they skipped uh, Die Ranger. Well, kind of. You know how that story is. They skipped Die Ranger, they skipped Go Buster, and now they're skipping uh, uh, Tokyuger. Which is weird, considering how many Lionel Train fans there are, and, you know, little kids love to play around with trains, you'd think that Bandai America would be able to easily market trains, of all things, trains, towards... Uh, uh, towards kids in the United States, Great Britain, Canada, wherever, 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 uh, wherever accessories are sold, you would think that Power Rangers would be able to market that, but for whatever reason, they decided not to. The, I, Max, Max, I tried to explain this to you last night. I don't, I don't think you quite got it. It's not that trains are hard to sell. On the contrary, trains are like a favorite thing for boys. You know why? Why they skip the train part, the train theme? I don't get. But the thing I was trying to convey to you last night, Magzilla, it's not about marketing trains. It's about marketing simple toys. Russia Sentai Tokyo has some of the simplest deluxe transforming Zords. Okay, yeah, Zords ever. A lot of them are one step, or they're just like, turn it around and done. What was that ultimate platform? Literally a train station that just upends. And then the chest folds over, and that's it. It's the most hollow piece of shit, unforgiving piece of shit you ever saw in your life. I don't, I'm not going to bother. 
finding the name for it because I literally don't care. But for as simple and inexpensive as it would have been to just make a sheet of plastic on this side and a sheet of plastic on this side, wedge some arms to either side and call it done, you're telling me it would have been too expensive to do that? Or here's an idea, just skip it all together if it's that much of an issue. You know, it's not like Bandai America hasn't done that in the past. Look at what they did to... Uh, um, which one was it? Um, I'm getting tired and I can't think. The Awesome is wearing off. or you know. Why did they skip the trains? For one of the biggest shelf warmers in Super Sentai history. Don't get me wrong, Tokyo was also a shelf warmer until it was marked off like 70, 80, 90% off. Then it sold like hotcakes because it, everybody knew it wasn't worth the, the shit amount of price. The Tokyo, which stood about this tall, not even 12 inches, was like 80, 90 dollars, and everybody said this. So, why it is... Tokyujur is a shelf warmer, Nininja even more so from what I've heard. And not just my weekly conversations with, or my near daily conversations on Skype either. Nininja is a shelf warmer. Tokyujur is a shelf warmer. Kyoujur, dinosaurs bailed it out, I want to say. It, it was basically a repeat of... Um, what was it called? Um, Command Rider Double with the Gaia memories. It was more or less a repeat of that just in Super Sentai format. But <sighs> Super Sentai is a mess and Power Rangers unfortunately is just following suit. And by the way, I'm glad they're leaving, kind of glad they're leaving Nickelodeon because Nickelodeon was forcing um, Saban brands to break each series each season into two separate seasons. Nobody liked that arrangement. Nobody. And then there was this stupid, unforgivable, unexplained six-month break between the fifth or sixth episode of a brand new television series. Brand new. There was a six-month break between the, was it the fifth or eighth episode? And what they did, and, and it, it, it started in February or March thereabouts, it, it, it stopped in April, and then it came back in September. Nickelodeon, what was so important that you had a brand new series that was only seven or eight episodes in, and then you stopped it? It's like you made people think, oh, no, that's not important. It failed. Okay, well, we're not going to watch it anymore. And then you're going to bring it back and just go on as if nothing else happened? That's the garage store, by the way. Yeah, I... I, I, I Despite the small things, this is immensely superior to anything that has come out of Bandai Toei Plex in the last five years. Because I was not wholeheartedly impressed with Gokaiju, aside from the, um, the pirate theme. I may have to do a, secret, a separate rant about this. Or not. I'm not sure. But yeah, Super Sentai, Power... Not even Power Rangers. I don't care about Power Rangers. Um, I'm starting to go meh about Dino Charge. Like, don't get me wrong, Dino Charge has good production value, but... Yeah. It's still Power Rangers. It's still dumbed down. They're still not addressing the hard issues that Super Sentai does. On the other hand, Super Sentai is more or less doing a, a turnabout in terms of the content that it's producing. You know, Insects from Space would have been fucking amazing. But no, for the 40th anniversary, it's just animals. I'm not... Come on. What ever happened to super vehicles that don't have an animal attached to them in some fashion? Why can't it, why, why can't it be like the Live Man Mecha, or the Live Mecha, or Live Robo, whatever it is, where or where they're machines that look like animals, they even behave like animals, but they're not. They're very much not animals. Like Live Man or Jew Ranger or... There's a couple of them. Or, or uh, 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 the Hurricane Joe, the Shinobi machines. Shinobi? Shinobu? I think it was Shinobi machines. Forgive me if I'm wrong. 
And I'm getting a headache because I'm leaning over. Okay. It's also because I'm pissed off. So. This thing. I can't think of the name of it, but it is glorious. And it fills in the gaps of the last four or five years. I think I'll end the, uh, the tirade right there. Not perfect by any means, but damn what they came up with. Damn. Backpack was a missed opportunity. They could have put an elbow joint into the Uranus Saver. Why does it have a dragon head? I don't know. Um, probably of the three forms, the battleship mode is the most solid of the three. Um, oh, the, the thigh joints. Like, I, I don't know. Why do, why do these thighs come off? Why, why do these come off? I, I, I don't get it. They don't ratchet. They don't do anything. Like, is it supposed to be, like... You know, I've often wondered if there, there isn't, because, um... Space the Leader is over in China. They, the series has ended. Um, but I've always imagined that the reason these came off, the reason these came off, is because there was going to be a, a, a seventh mecha, which would have been nice. But I, but that, like, like maybe it was a design they abandoned. It's not that Super Sentai hasn't done that before either. Uh, look at Bokinger. If you look at the the Go Go vehicles, there's there's actually if you look at the Daibokan, there's actually a part, uh, there's actually a couple of clips and stuff that never ever ever get used with any of the toys that are released. It's like we we're missing something here. Some something didn't happen. They didn't talk about it and they didn't mention it. So is that kind of what happened here? Like the it, it's it's something that was abandoned, or is is this designed to come off just for the sake of these? Um, if too much pressure is applied, which is weird, because the only the only direction you can really go with it is this way. You can't even yeah, you can't even turn these. They're not designed to ratchet. So why it is they come off, I don't know. Uh, I don't think they needed to. Maybe maybe have something to do with the how they put the thing together, which I don't know. But yeah, missed opportunity or that's a mysterious thing having this spread apart. That was a that was a missed opportunity. It's got a dragon head. I'm not sure why, but it's funny and I can live with it. Um, takes care of all of its accessories. Should have had an elbow on there somewhere. Yeah. Let's pull a little more this way. What's this headache? What is this? It's a headache of five years of frustration, four or five years of frustration, six years, because Gosager wasn't any better. Hey, but just stop. You cause yourself trouble. And so, this is AV Unit 4A saying thanks for tuning in.